Hey, millionaire. We all know that being a celebrity and being rich pretty much go hand in hand. Sure, some celebs have a knack for blowing all their cash. We've talked about them before. But it's also true that some celebs are way richer than you'd expect. You bet most of these celebs on our list haven't topped a million. Well, strap in, because their bank balances are shocking. You'll never guess who's in our number one spot. Number 12. Rowan Atkinson most people will recognize the face of Mr. Bean in Johnny English, but Americans will be surprised to learn that in Britain and around Europe, Rowan Atkinson is more superstar than novelty. See, because Mr. Bean has almost no dialogue, that gave the show a chance to shine anywhere. It took off in a big way in non-English countries like Germany and France, and is still constantly repeated on TV. We almost don't even need to mention Atkinson's other super successful British sitcoms. Thanks to his legion of international fans, his net worth is estimated to be around $150 million. That's right, Mr. Bean is richer than we are. Number 11. Judge Judy A lot of people were devastated when Judge Judy ended after 25 seasons in 2021. It had an old-fashioned feel, but Judge Judy's sarcastic and ruthless personality easily captured the audience's attention. It turns out that her personality didn't just appeal to TV audiences. Her blunt negotiation skills earned her a ton of cash for the show, too. Apparently, instead of sitting through a ton of production meetings, she just handed producers a letter containing her salary and crew demands. The letter ended by saying that if CBS didn't accept her terms, she'll walk and produce the show herself. It was an offer they couldn't refuse, and it meant that Judge Judy earned a whopping $47 million per year on the show. That puts her net worth at around $440 million. Number 10. Kaylee Cuoco even if you don't know Kaylee Cuoco's name, you'll definitely know her face. She shot to fame on the giant sitcom The Big Bang Theory, where she plays, you guessed it, the pretty blonde girl next door, way out of his league love interest of one of the key nerds. You probably already guessed that her role on the show netted her a few million, but I would have guessed something like three or maybe even 10 million. If that's what you were thinking, you're way off the mark. Her net worth is a staggering 100 million. That's pretty impressive for an actress who isn't really famous anywhere except America. If you hit that subscribe button faster than Sheldon corrects Penny, you'll get all of Kaylee's cash. I guess that means you've got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Number nine, PewDiePie. Exactly how much money can you make by just talking about games? After all, that's something you probably do with your friends all the time. It can't make you rich, can it? It totally can. YouTube star PewDiePie has made more money than most people will ever make by commenting on games. He's currently worth about $40 million. Many people probably expected that to end back in 2017, when he got caught up in a controversy that caused Disney to cut him off, but it didn't seem to make a dent in his bank balance. Number 8. Kenny G Also known as the man behind your dad's sexy music choice, Kenny G is best known for one sax riff. You'll know the one. But how much money can you earn playing the same song over and over again to late middle-aged people looking to get in the mood? A lot, it turns out. Seriously, you're about to regret quitting band practice. Kenny G and his saxophone have earned themselves a shocking $100 million. Sure, the girls probably don't think the saxophone was sexy back in high school, but if you'd stuck with it, that would have come around when they saw how much money you've made off it. Number 7. Giselle Bündchen There's no doubt Giselle is one of the most famous supermodels ever. She's best known as the face of Victoria's Secret. Or, if you're a sports fan, you might know her better as the wife of NFL quarterback Tom Brady. But exactly how much cash can you make walking down a runway in your underwear? The answer is a lot. She's currently worth about $400 million. Okay, so it isn't all Victoria's Secret's money. She's also a spokesmodel for many fashion and beauty lines, and she even serves as an ambassador for the UN Environment Program. But still, $400 million is a lot of money. Number 6. Steve Harvey Steve Harvey became a household name in a classic way by presenting a popular game show. The beloved face of Family Feud has been hosting the show since 2010, as well as the spin-off Celebrity Family Feud, and a couple of other things like Miss Universe. You could almost forget he actually started out as a comedian. But, like me, you probably have no idea how much cash you can make by presenting a game show, right? 
it's much more than you expect. Steve Harvey currently has a net worth of $200 million. And if I had a dollar for every time I told someone the rules of Monopoly, I'd probably be close to that net worth too. Do you think Steve Harvey deserves all that cash for reading off an auto cue? Tell us in the comments. Number 5. Larry David if you're under 40, you'll probably know Larry David from his appearance in the hit sitcom Curb Your Enthusiasm. If you're over 40, you'll be shouting, no, that's George Costanza, and you'd be right. In case anyone doesn't know, Larry David was the inspiration for George Costanza, a character from one of the biggest sitcoms in history, Seinfeld. That show was way bigger than you think. Nine years after the show's run ended, it earned Larry David an unmatched syndication deal worth an unbelievable $3.1 billion. Crazy, right? That put his net worth at around $900 million at the time. These days, some sources estimate he's worth around $400 million. But with Curb Your Enthusiasm winning Emmy nominations, I'll bet it's actually higher. Number 4. Gloria Estefan Gloria Estefan was the original Latino pop star who topped the charts with her hit, The Rhythm Is Gonna Get You. But these days, young music fans don't talk about her so much. And that's pretty interesting, since she's richer than most of the pop stars on the top of the charts today. Her net worth is still estimated at half a billion dollars. These days, she's the founder of multimedia company Estefan Enterprises. And she's still making music, too. She recently recorded the song Inside Your Heart with Lin-Manuel Miranda for the Netflix movie Vivo. Has anyone on this list shocked you? Let us know by hitting the like before we mention the next celeb, and keep watching to find out who took our number one spot. Number 3. David Copperfield While people want to get rich, there are a few careers they consider to help them get there. But becoming a magician is not one of them. But David Copperfield proves that anything is possible. And I'm not talking about him making the Statue of Liberty disappear. He's actually the most successful magician in history. Seriously, if I asked you to guess his net worth, you wouldn't get close. He's recently reached a gigantic $1 billion. It's true that some of that cash comes from his private islands in the Bahamas, which aren't worth looking at because nobody can afford those vacation prices. But still, he bought those islands with his magic money. It seems like an insane amount of cash. What's the chances he worked out to conjure up real dollars from nowhere? Number 2. Celine Dion we all know Celine Dion from the Titanic soundtrack, but you probably only have one friend who listens to her music. Consider almost nobody listens to her. She's unbelievably rich. Between international tours and a surprisingly popular Las Vegas residency, she's earned herself a whopping $800 million. That's right, Celine Dion is very nearly a billionaire. Who knew? And finally, the surprisingly rich celebrity who took our top spot. Number 1. George Lucas. I know what you're thinking. We all know George Lucas is rich, but can you guess how rich? The man behind Star Wars has legions of fans around the world. If you're one of them, you'll know that Lucas sold his production company Lucasfilm to Disney back in 2012. The deal was huge. He was the only owner of the company, and the sale earned him $4 billion. But that's not his net worth. Usually, when I say that, I mean that net worth is always less than earnings. But that's not the case here. To find out how much money Lucas has in the bank, you'll need to add that $4 billion to all the other billions he's made since the first Star Wars became a smash hit back in 1977. Estimates show he's actually worth a mind-blowing $10 billion. He's filthy rich, but his fans have nothing to worry about. He's still working on new Star Wars movies instead of taking all that cash and retiring.